Today's video, I've got a game-changing strategy to help you make more sales on Redbubble. So, what is this strategy? Well, sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Hey YouTube, so here we are loaded up on the computer. So what is this game-changing strategy which is hopefully going to help us make more sales? Well, the problem with print-on-demand, and I was guilty of it for many, many months, is I automatically thought I need to design for t-shirts first. So what I would do, I'd come up with a design, specifically look at a t-shirt, enable the other products, but my main focus of attention was t-shirts. But I'm like everybody else. I'm thinking t-shirts. We need to think differently. Now what I want to show you, first of all, if I go on Redbubble and I've searched for all the products on there, which is currently 43,065,662 designs uploaded on Redbubble. 43 million. What I want to do is instead of going most relevant, I want to go best selling. So we're going to change this to best selling. And look at what comes back. T-shirt is number one. But look. Look at all these items which aren't T-shirts which are selling well. Pins. Stickers. What have we got further down? More stickers. Masks. Stickers. Frames. Clocks. See the point I'm trying to show you here. More stickers. Yes, T-shirts are sold. But look at all these other items which aren't being sold as much. So we need to try and think how can we beat the competition. Everybody is going to go for t-shirts. So what I want to do is I want to show you the next bit. So I've gone on to search for women's t-shirts. So this is just women's t-shirts. And it's currently showing me there's 103,681 results for women's t-shirts on Redbubble. So, that's a lot of competition for us. But, look at what we can do. So across the top, you've got different categories of they, what they offer. Clothing, stickers, masks, phone cases, wall art, home and living, kids and babies, pets. And what's that next to pets? New. Now this is a great, great thing for print on demand sellers. If we can find something new, that means we're not going to get a lot of competition. So if we can get our designs up there early, we'll start dominating the early pages. And what I want to show you is this. T-shirts, 103,681. Look at pet mats. So we're going to search for pet mats. 8,227 results. This is without us even finding it. You see that? This is without us, excuse me, even niching down. This is just 8,227 results for all pet mats. Compare that to women's t-shirts alone, not men's and women's t-shirts, women's t-shirts. 103,681. So we've basically got 95,000 less competitive designs for us to try and sell against. 95,000 less people to sell against. Lots and lots and lots of people love their pets. People go crazy about buying accessories for their pets. And Matt's is going to be a big, big seller for them. We need to be looking at it. This is new. We haven't got a lot of competition. We need to get ahead of us, ahead of all the other competition that might start doing it for this. But the main thing is we need to focus the designs to suit the mats. Not doing a design for a t-shirt. And then just putting it okay and ticking the box to say, yes, do it for a mat. We need to concentrate on the mat first. We need to make our designs optimised to go on the mat. So, what do we do? Well, first of all, we need to see what dimensions we've got to play with. So, if you go up into uploading a new design, it gives you a breakdown of all the products available for us to put our design on. But instead of thinking, I want to look at t-shirts... And do one which optimizes the t-shirt size which Redbubble put for that at the moment 
a design of 2,400 by 3,200. So that's it. People are optimizing their designs for that size t-shirt. Now, change it. We need to be looking at mats. So if we look at dog mats, so we need our designs to be sized for 4,800 by 3,657 pixels. That's very important. We need to be thinking that's the image size that we've got to play with. So it's longer and shorter uh, in terms of the height. We need to be looking at designs optimized for that. So what we need to do, now I can't draw, I'm not a good drawer, I send lots and lots of my videos, I'm not a good drawer. So I need to use websites such as Placeit and use some pre-drawn images from there and then customize it to make my own. Don't just use what they've put there, make it your own. So it's, somebody else isn't gonna have the same design, make it yours, it's very, very important. But we would need to look at a design, for example, example Pug Life. And I would need to make this my own. So I need to change the text. I need to change the color in the background. I need to change the image. So at the moment it's a dog, which is a pug. I can change it to this kind of dog instead. I can change the background color, which I always do because you want it to be a transparent background. You change the text. Instead of pug life, you could put dog life. So if you wanted to get rid of pug and put dog there instead. So we'll have dog life instead of pug life. OK, I'm making this image my own, but I'm also thinking dog mat. I'm not just thinking of a picture of somebody drinking a beer and just ticking the box to say that's suitable for a, a dog. It's not. I'm thinking dog mat first. That's my priority. I'm thinking dog mat. That's what I'm concentrating on. So we've got a dog mat. We know the dimensions we want to use. We've got the image we want. We know there's not much competition. So what I would do is I would then finish my design, download it, and then once it's downloaded, I need to make it optimized for the dog mat. So I then go into bulk image resize, I would upload my new downloaded picture, and I will just change the dimension size to being what we said for the dog mat, which was 4,800 by 3,657. Download it, and then upload it to Redbubble. This way, I am pri prioritizing something with low competition. This is very important. We need to find things which have got low competition. 8,227 results. It's very, very important that we get into low competition niches. And this is the perfect way of doing it. We've got lots and lots of different pets things that have come out. So you've got bandanas, blankets, mats, etc., etc. Let's optimize our designs for these. And let's try and find ways of keeping the competition down. Hopefully this video is an interest. Hopefully it's giving you an idea of getting into this new strategy. More importantly, hopefully it gives you an opportunity to make some money. If you can hit the subscribe button, obviously always appreciate it. If not, I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.